to another review from 16bit.com. I am Adam Paulus with the O'Neill Design Glios Venjoran Armorvor, which is a mouthful, but it's really cool once you get to look at it up close. The Glios figures, as you know, come in little plastic bags. This one has no graphics on it, and the figure has a lot of detail. You can see from the front and the back, there's a lot of sculpted parts and pieces here. The head looks fantastic, and it has a lot of articulation. Take a look. I mean, swivel, everything. And at every joint, the figure can come apart for 14 points total articulation. The figure has an interchangeable head, and the cool thing about the head is the front of the head looks like a robot, and the back of the head looks kind of like a dog. So you get two heads in one, basically. The back side of the figure has a plug. You can put a backpack on if you want, and as luck would have it, it includes a backpack. It fits perfectly, it goes right into place, and it also works as a head. And if you don't want to use it as a head, you can use it as a gun. So hey, two for one. Other Glyos figures are about the same size. He's smaller than the Build Man and the Faden, and the parts are completely interchangeable with other Glyos figures. As you can see, there are the chest piece, the black core, comes out. And if you have other figures around like I did, you can stick whatever parts you want in there, which sounds dirtier than it should be. He is compatible with a number of great action figure weapons, including Battle Beasts, Outer Spacemen, that is the Astronautalist staff, and he can also hold Glyos weapons. The peg fits right into his hand. Uh, he's sized similarly to other Beast figures, very similar to the Mini Mates Battle Beasts, which will be coming out in greater numbers soon. Bigger than Lego, bigger than Battle Beasts. I like the figure a lot, the detail, the fun. These have been developing for so long, I, I'll write a longer review, but I just wanted to show you a ton of pictures and talk to you about how great it is. And he also has a red eye variant, which I've only heard of about two showing up so far. The figure is sold out and is normally sold exclusively through Onel Design. You can read more about Glyos figures at 16bit.com. And if you enjoy these figures or these reviews, please tell a friend.